Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Today, I want to do a little bit of shopping, and I figured if I'm gonna be doing a little bit of shopping, why not try to do a little bit of vlogging? Uh, but uh, I'm gonna be shopping at Fashion Valley, and I wanted to check out some of the new collections at Chanel as well as uh, Louis Vuitton. So I wanted to head to the Chanel Boutique inside of Neiman's and Nordstrom. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get to check out the on-the-go the giant monogram collection in the reverse if they have it or the bandolier just so I can get a sneak peek and hopefully be able to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to see. I also wanted to check out um, some sneakers or maybe some shoes. Our fingers crossed that this ends up turning out okay and hopefully I have loads and loads of eye candy for you. I'm gonna finish getting ready uh, because hopefully I can get this, uh, this frizziness or this this lion's mane down a little bit. I feel like it's, I don't know. I don't want it to get it too funky and maybe finish putting on some makeup and the rest of my outfit. So I will see you guys a little bit later. All right, how about a little Louis Vuitton eye candy? This is the XXL, the city steamer, right? Check this bad boy out. This guy is enormous. Hold on, I'm not doing it any justice. Oh, they have it. Oh, it's in between, that's why. Okay, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. I love it though. Look how big that is. And are you ready for a little more eye candy? Check these puppies out. This is the Speedy 30 bandolier in the reverse giant monogram and the on the go. All right. Now, I mean, I really like this because it's a bandolier. It is the 30. If it was a 25. I mean, I, I would love it in the 25, but I'm kind of digging this. I know I've talked about it quite a bit on my Minx Mondays. It has dual handles, so you can either wear it on your shoulder or on the crook of your arm, or you can hand carry it, but check this out. Look at how spacious it is on the interior. And that beautiful red, you have two slip pockets, a zipper compartment, and it also has this D-ring, so you can you know make it a little bit more secure i know some people were saying that they wish that this um, had a zippered compartment i'm sorry a zippered closure so it'd make it even more secure but i think i think this works check it out what do you think it's a little bit wrinkly right it's a little bit wrinkly but look at that i don't i don't hate it i don't hate it and i, <laughs> I kind of really love it who understands me Okay, so let me show you guys a little quick lineup. Let me try this guy on so you guys can see what it looks like on my body frame. So I wanted to give you guys better lighting. This is the on the go, the reverse giant monogram on me. I am five foot five. What do you think? Yeah. This is on the longest strap because like I said, it does come with two, but it looks, I like it, right? It's not bad. Sorry if I'm moving the camera a little too much. I think it's really nice. So here it is if I was to use it on the crook of my arm. It is a little bit bigger, right? I don't think it's too overwhelming either. Check it out. What do you think? Not bad, right? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So honestly, I love this bag. I love the shape. I love everything about it, the versatility. I am not the craziest about this backside. I really wish it would have all been this one. We're hopeful, or even that, just the, the reverse monogram. This guy, very beautiful. This collection, I think will do better than the other, the, than, the, uh, light, than the colors as well. And then this guy, this guy is awesome, for sure. I mean, I could throw Edward in there, definitely. <laughs> but it's a beautiful bag give you a better visual on this guy peep it out <laughs> it's you know what it's not uncomfortable it's not uncomfortable because it has a strap kind of like a keep all does see it has this little guy right here so it's even more comfortable on your shoulder and it's adjustable but it is a massive bag but it is a beauty so here's another one this is called the on my side and you have the nomad leather on top yeah, monogram. It also has like a turn lock closure, which is really nice. And it's quite spacious. Oh, yes. And it also comes with a, I don't know if, is it adjustable? It is an adjustable, removable strap. So it even adds, it adds a little bit more versatility. You have pockets right here with a magnetic closure. 
and you have it on both sides. Look at that. It is so incredibly soft. It is beautiful. Once again, I am five foot five, and I, you know, it's very lightweight. For an all leather, for mostly all leather handbag, it is very lightweight, very comfortable. I have it all the way up on my shoulder. I don't know what adjustment it's on, but look at that. Beautiful, and the details, absolutely gorgeous. And I like the fact that at the height that I have it at, like on the adjustment, I can reach in here. It's not too long, although I, maybe I can make it a little bit shorter, but I feel like it's easy to access my items, retrieve my items very easily. You can leave this turn lock closure open or close it for a little bit more security, but that is beautiful. I don't want to go too fast but this is the uh, all-in so you have the regular one with the um, with the baqueta and then you also have it with the red not too bad on the red it's a little bit more orange red but I kind of like it I kind of like it and of course ooh, like this guy yes now we just need a bag in that right am I right Beautiful. Ooh, very nice. One of those days when you really wish that you would have worn sunglasses, but you left those in your car as well. Yeah, that's what's happening with me. So I keep squinting. I think people think I'm probably giving them the, like the evil eye or something. So as far as Louis Vuitton, um, she had said that they actually have a new launch coming at the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken, and it was mostly like all leather goods. Uh, so that's really great. But um, they don't have a lot of the new collections. Uh, she said that they pretty much, they pre-ordered and a lot of them had sold out. Um, and it's getting even harder and harder to get them into the, into the boutique. So she said that some people have even like ordered things months prior and they still haven't gotten it, um, you know, come in or anything like that. So that's, that's crazy. So hopefully uh, Louis Vuitton, you know, kicks it into high gear to get people their, their stuff. Right, so now I'm in the shoe department and I want to try couple different pairs of shoes. I saw some Tom Ford ones. Oh my gosh, they are stunning. Could I pull them off? No, but I'm going to try them on anyways. Um, I'll show you guys them in just a minute. And I also want to try these guys on. Not in the fabric. I want to try on the lambskin. Um, I think they're really cute. I like the fact that it doesn't have a big heel and they're sling back, so they should be a little bit more comfortable. Um, they're limited in sizing here. I know that I can always order them online, but I think they're cute, right? So we'll see how those turn out. And um, I, I have a mark for my socks, so if you guys see that, now you know why. <laughs> so for those of you that watched my sneaker video not too long ago, I was talking about how I really wanted to add these to my wardrobe, and I keep trying them on. Oh, it's a little dirty, but anyways, what do you think? They're super cute. I know what you're thinking. All right, they totally look like glorified Converse, right? I know, I know, but they're a lot, I mean, they're super, super comfy. I usually wear a size 40 when it comes to, um, you know, to this type of uh, footwear, but these are actually 39 and a half and they feel comfortable. Like I have enough space, I have enough, uh, enough wiggle room. It's not too tight in the toe box or anything like that, but I really, really like the white. I think the white looks fresh, right? Don't you think? Let me show you guys. Look at that. Black or white? Black or white? Look at these. I know. Crazy beautiful. Look at that. They're obnoxious. They're sparkly. They are so me. I think these are gorgeous. Oh, snap. Three grand? But I mean, come on, right? <laughs> Here I am trying them on. Look at this. Don't mind the sock. <laughs> the sock mark right here. <laughs> Look how beautiful they are. Or my busted tan. Look at that. So beautiful. I know I keep going back to these. All right. <laughs> they make my foot look enormous. My foot look like gondolas, but <laughs> I can't stop staring at them. I think it's just because they're shiny. Because there's like a whole slew of shoes. Like these are the ones that I was trying on. But check these out. I mean, look at these. Stunning. Oh, the red. Ooh, look at these. I think that's a little, that's a little too much. These are cute. I mean, let me just, I just wanna roll around in crystals. Is that bad, is that bad? No, these are cute too. But where am I gonna wear them? Grocery shopping? Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they have a whole array of Chanel ones. I'm gonna try these guys on. I'm not too crazy about the embroidery, but, um, right, embroidery? 
Uh, but I'm not trying the great ones because I think they're super cute. But they have a whole wall of Chanel. I even saw these, the ballerina flats and the quilted. I really wish it was like a different red. I know on camera it's probably showing up like super bright, um, but it's more like an orange red. But they used to have like the classic, um, the classic red. But yeah, check that out. And check out these, check out these boots. Where are they? Right here. Look at this. These are rain boots because it rains so much here in Southern California. But look at the detail. So cute, right? And then these are the black and white. Oh man, oh man. Do I need them? No. Because like I said before, it rains so often here. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This year's been kind of crazy, but they're gorgeous. Okay, so these are the Chanel wedges. These are cute too. I didn't think I'd be so crazy about them. You know, the espadrille wedge, but they're surprisingly a lot more comfortable. And like I said, they have, oh, well, it's suede on the, on the cap toe. And then you have, I think this is lambskin. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on it. And then the embroidery right here. But I think they're really cute. What do you think? They are adorable. I mean, I don't know. I like the gray and the, and the black, which is the one that I just have on right now. And then they also have like a baby pink with the suede cap toe. These are cute. So these are the two that I'm thinking about. Never thought I, like I said before, I'd look at these, but they're very, very comfortable. But I think these are more my style, right? The glorified Converse. It's more, I'm a sneakerhead, so I'm automatically drawn to them, you know? I don't know, what do you guys think? This one, huh? You're probably like, why are you even asking if you have already made up your mind? <laughs> I haven't made up my mind. All right, so I'm adding one more to the mix. I'm not going for the Chanel Espadrille wedges. They're super cute, but I think I'd get more use out of the sneakers. However, I do have the Prince Down loafers in two other colors, but I really like this baby pink. It's beautiful. Um, they don't have my size, so I'm just showing you guys just the, <laughs> just the color. Uh, but I think these are these would be great for like summer, but they're, they're two totally different shoes, but I feel like I wear them all the time. Princeton loafer or this guy. After all that, I decided on the Gucci Prince Down loafer. I do like the walk in Dior, but I really wanted to go for the pink for spring and summer. Next, I headed into the Chanel boutique inside of Neiman's and I saw this beauty. Um, I did take video for my Instagram, so it's going to be a little bit funky, but I'm going to give you guys a full on tour of it. And the only thing I forgot to show is the price. The price point is $4,100 here in the States. And at the moment, Neiman's only has it available in the pink and the black, but I do believe that other boutiques might have gotten it in other colors. All right, I got to tell you guys about this bag. This is the Chanel Chevron Chic. Check it out. It kind of looks like a trendy CC, but it has a little bit more. So not only does it feature feet along the bottom, it also comes with a removable, removable, adjustable strap. So you can carry it crossbody, you can put it on your shoulder, or you can take this off completely and use it like a little mini handbag and check out the interior really quickly. I'm gonna open it up really quickly so I can show them the inside. Look at that, you have organization. So you have a, a very generous front pocket, another one on the back side, and a zippered compartment. Oh yes. I also got a chance to check out this reissue. It is absolutely beautiful, the metallic. I think that this combination really works well together. And as far as the hardware, it's kind of like the So Black. They do add an extra coating to make sure that it doesn't chip as easily, but it is very shiny. Now, as far as the actual material of the bag, I don't know what type of leather it is, uh, but it does feel a little bit stiff. So I'm wondering if it'll be a lot more durable in any type of weather, but um, I have no idea. But that's another shot of it. And of course, the price. Yeah, <laughs> the price scared me for sure. Not going to lie. But it is a beautiful bag. I also wanted to incorporate another mod shot so you guys can see what it looks like on my body frame. And I also wanted to incorporate a side-by-side -side with my medium-large to give you a better uh, reference for the size. I really like these. These are from the newest collection. It's like a coral chevron mini with the antique gold hardware. I think it really complements it. Adds a really nice freshness to it. And then the O pouch in the lambskin. This is really beautiful. I love these two together too. Very summery. And then I saw this guy. So cute. And then I also saw this guy. All right. I don't like the color blue, but this blue is 
stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so check it out. This is the Mini in the Chevron. How cute, right? Maybe not exactly with what I'm wearing, but I love the color. I think that Chevron really just complements it, like I said before. And the antique gold hardware, it is stunning. Very, very nice. Who am I? Who am I? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I would normally not go for this color either, but it's beautiful. Look at that. This lighting probably isn't helping it out either. It's very, very bright. I think it's perfect for like spring and summer for sure. Can you imagine for summertime? It would look amazing. But they have quite a bit. Right now I'm at Nordstrom and they have a ton of different colors, especially for the new collection. Look at that. So beautiful. All right. So now I'm heading out. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed the eye candy. Most of the Chanel pieces are from the current collection. I will try to put as much information as I possibly can. So, um, yeah. So I know that I don't really vlog too much um, because I'm usually all over the place and I get super distracted. So hopefully it wasn't too bad. As I mentioned in the video, I did end up snagging one of those small leather goods and I chose this one. I think it is absolutely beautiful. And the funny thing is, is that I'm not normally a blue person. A lot of you know that. I tend to go for pink, I tend to go for red, but there's just something about this color. It's like an electric royal blue. I have no idea, but it is stunning. And I also like the oversized uh, silver hardware. I think, um, I think it works out really, really nicely. And check out the interior. The interior, it's like a really fun uh, print. It's a little bit more, um, I know it says pink on there, but to me it looks a little bit more like lavender. But uh, I think it's super, super cute. Hey bud, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? I thought that I would sign off with Edward because he's very rarely in my videos, but as you can tell, he's not really having it. He's not really amused. Um, I think it's because he knows it's bath time. Yeah, bath time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.